All right. Here we are with the XL1000 Varadero. We've had a, well, sometimes I take the dog on the bike in one of them pouches and um, these shields, the stock shields, uh, windscreens, are a bit short. So, I thought I'd try one of these. It's from a company called Just Deck, they send you free cloth, and it's just like an extension. Um, so you can sort of angle it as and where you want. Um, So hopefully deflect a bit more wind off of me and um, my little dog. So we're going to put that on. I haven't got my um, tripod with me, so I'm going to have to do it in stages. Uh, but basically, that sits on there like so. Then you've got... Some rubbers and shims obviously to go on the windscreen so it doesn't mark the windscreen too much and then that obviously goes on there so I don't know what it's going to look like but as long as it does the job that's the main thing while we're in here you can have a quick look round try and flag BSA, the Scania front grille, that's a huge piece, is that a great piece of wall art, I love that. This for sale, everything for sale, Harley Davidson, that's enamel, enamel, I'm not sure if it's porcelain as well, but uh, it's just been put on a board. we got this um, military target, aluminium. It stands about about four foot. He's had a few shots by the way. Just on a two two. We've got a little little what do you call it? Mini rocket, pocket rocket, what they're called. A huge Saint George. Um, that was taken to an England game not long ago by some people I know uh, and then we've got some old, old tank uh, petrol tanks old Tonka Morris grill there is that a Morris Marine I can't remember Tonka we've got the Harley clock with a Harley Davidson tyre on I don't know whether the tyre's um, usable, but it's got a clock in it. Genuine tyre. They've got a few trinkets up there. We've got all the uh, bandit stuff we're breaking. Wheels, exhaust. Got a front fairing off a GPZ500S. These Suzuki Bandit Mark 1 engines under there. Um, and then we've got a Triumph uh, Trident under here, which I know you've seen before. I love this bike, I must admit. Pick up. Get the dust off of it. So they're just boxes of uh, stuff. Old metal bike up there. Advert for uh, Majuba Beach, if that's how you pronounce it in Redka. Anyway, back to this. So I shall pause it and then I'll do it next stage and we'll record that. Okay. Right, so I think we've got it. Do it that way. I think we've got it central. I haven't tightened it right up. There's a, they're a bit awkward these rubbers to get in. You have to um, screw out the grub, grub screws right out so that it sits flush. 
and then there's two metal shims what sit in there so it's when you screw the grub screws in it screws against the shim metal shim and then pulls it all together I haven't really tightened it up yet but it's got a decent grip so I'll tighten it all up when we're done so basically now this will see if I can do it one-handed just uh, obviously can't do it one-handed in there like that so and then you know, roughly see how it goes and I'll tighten it all up in a minute and get it in position right so I'll see you in a minute right like I say it's it's not a great deal to it but it's supposed to do the job so we will find out when we go out for a ride so I haven't tightened it all up yet anyway, so it's still, you can move it a bit with your hand. So I'm going to tighten it all up. This was, um, like I say, by a company called Just Tech. So they send you a free cloth, obviously, to advertise. Um, and um, it cost me £18. If you're with the Prime, Amazon Prime, and free delivery. If you're not with Prime, I think it's £22.50. So a free plug for Amazon there. How's about that? As you can send me something, can't you? And um, free plug for this Just Tech company as well. I don't like doing plugs because you get nothing for it. Unless you've got a thousand million views or something. Anyway. So we're always tinkering about. So if you like what we do, just subscribe. That will be great. Always nice to see friendly faces. We did on the last video I mentioned about um, putting the throttle cable on the Peugeot. Well, I've done that this morning. The Peugeot van, uh, the partner van, and um, I I started videoing it and then I give up because it was a bit of a swine to do. At one point, I think I was upside down underneath, between the seat and the pedals. Um, at 55 years old, I didn't think I could still move like that, but I'm, it was surprising. But anyway, it's done. There were a few F's and Jeffs, unfortunately, because it was a bit of a tricky number. Engine bay were easy enough. That was straightforward. It was getting it through the um, through the back of the engine and into the actual car or the van. Uh, and then feeding it down onto the back of the pedal um, and then once it's all together it's just a matter of a quick setup so it wasn't, it wasn't too difficult it's just like I say when you get past 50 you're not as bendy as you used to be but anyway that's done so sorry I didn't video that for you but if you have any questions I should be able to answer it it comes with a bag full of spares but you don't need them all it looks like you think well I didn't realise there were all that much stuff on it, but it in it's just um, you know bits you might need depending on the model, I suppose. But uh, anyway, it's done and it feels all right and it sounds all right. It starts up. It won't start up last week because it was just stuck. So that's good. Anyway, so there you go. That's the deflector. I might do a little video of uh, taking it out. It's October now, so it's a bit miserable. We don't get m many half decent days, although I don't consider myself a biker just in summer. I don't like to get out, but it, if it's a bit too cold, then. But I might do a video of me and my little doggy taking a ride if you want, and that should be a bit of a change. Anyway, this Varadero's in got a good clean and I think it'll be in for a service soon as well it's winter service so anyway might video that okay anyway good to see you all see you again bye